mind going up and fighting Kamzat Shemaev. When I say that, I mean it. When I look at Kamzat and I look at Shavka, I think, holy, look at those two guys. 18 and 0 undefeated, 15 and 0 undefeated. Wouldn't it be awesome to see a fight with me and him one day for a world title? And wouldn't it be an upset if I went out there and I'd be him and I'd be Chavka and I'm the two weight world champion. What about Bilal? Is Bilal a fast thought for you? Bilal is going to be a walk in the park. When I fight okay, the okay. I have all the respect in the world for Bilal. He's the champion. you got to give him the respect he deserves. His pressure is great. His wrestling's phenomenal. He doesn't wait, switches stances. He punches, he pushes forward. He does not stop. But I just simply will be able to manipulate him in ways that he has never, ever seen. I hope to see it one day. I hope to see everything you just laid no, out in front too. of us. Me too. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it would be a hell of a story, hell of a career. Get ready. Sit back and enjoy. Right. I mean, this is a tough one, man. This is a tough one. A lot of people think Shavkat is going to go in there and, and run Ian over. I think Ian is a very smart fighter. Very witty fighter. Very, very smart. And he can change on a dime. Like, if he wants to strike, he's going to strike. If he wants to take it to the ground, he's going to take it to the ground. Very complete mixed martial artist. Very game to fight anyone, as you can see. He was, he was booked to fight um, Buckley. But then Shavrat needed a dance partner. He stepped up for it. I mean, this fight is going to be insane, man. I think this is going to be a real technical fight. Real smart fight. I can see Shav, uh, Shavkat getting a hold of something and just squeezing his neck off or his arm. I don't know. But is he going to be able to take the strikes from Ian on the stand-up? Because Ian is a super, super sharp shooter, bro. It's going to be a fun one, man. I think so. In this fight... Whoever gets hurt first and the other uh, the other guy is going to capitalize on it. That's what I think. I think uh, the first man to get hurt loses this fight. It's going to be a fun one though. This should be a fun fight. Talk to me about your immediate reaction when, you know, the Colby fight has been presented to you a few times and then it never happens. The Shavkat fight happens and then suddenly he's fighting. Oh, he just magically out of thin air just came out of nowhere didn't he oh y'all do it it just shows he's a coward it proves that he never ever ever wanted to fight me in the first place he's the perfect example of someone who was trying to stay relevant by talking about me Shavka he even mentioned Charles at one point because he was getting all the media attention he's he talks out of his arse and he's not willing to back it up he would never ever ever in a million years step into the octagon with me and face his fears because I am the man he fears the most Это обращение к тебе, ирландский внучок. Ты можешь вообще не выходить на бой с нашим Шевкатом. Ты что задумал? У тебя ведь нет шанса. Ты станешь очередной жертвой Рахмонова, и он побьет еще Белала, и пояс будет у Шевката. Гэри, вспомни о своей беспроигрышной серии, которая может прерваться ночью 8 декабря. Разве тебе твоя Пашка не говорила, что нельзя выходить в октагон с большим казахским дядей? Да. Еще балашка, найди себе полегче соперника. А теперь пеняй на себя. Алга Казахстан, Алга Шахат. Алга. Even though Kamaru Usman turned down the fight, do you think it was more because you're not the champion? And if you do become the champion, that's when a lot of these guys will be forced to fight you. Yeah, yeah, I didn't champion and Jik Pijik Kishkin me the world at Rus Prak. Yeah, for sure, you know, when I'm gonna be a champion, who does wanna fight a champion? Who does wanna win a belt? But Kamaru, he's on a three fight losing streak and uh, he still needs to prove himself, you know, uh, again, at least get a one more win to be able to be a real legitimate contender again. So he didn't want to fight me to get that win. We'll see what's going to happen next for him. Ian and Shavka. Yeah. yeah. That should be a barn burner too. I don't, maybe not Maybe not a barn burner. I think it's going to be a very technical fight. But but you said you think Ian could... You, you favor Ian in that one. I lean towards Ian. That's interesting. I lean towards Ian Gary. Why? Way. I just think um, because he's familiar with him. I don't know if he's still training with the shootbox guys. Um, 
I think he has really good control management of the distance. And, uh, I mean, for him to beat a guy like MVP, who's hard to get a hold of, mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but he did what he had to do to win. I think he knows how to win. Yeah. And I think he might outpoint him. Alexander Pantoja is a guy that knows how he has that threshold. He can go hard. And I think this is where Alexander Pantoja is going to have to be more careful here. I think he's going to be sharper. I think he's a little bit more dynamic because if he touch you with those hands or if he touch you with that knee, I think he can put you out because he can't just put your head down and just run forward with numerous combinations <laughs> with a guy that can just put a knee there, get you out of there. You know what I'm talking about, Henry? Am I right or wrong? You're right, bro. The dude has power, man. And Pantoja, you're right. He does have a bad habit of swinging for the fences you know there's technique and whatnot involved but he's just a goer man but either way bro i just feel like pantoja has fought the ufc he's made the weight he's fought five rounds Hard. with some of the best flyweights in the world i can see pantoja winning those later rounds in particularly because the japanese is probably cutting too much weight i agree with you Ernie. i'm gonna go with alexander pantoja i think he has shown that he can push hard for five rounds and still get the job done A lot of fans talking about how he's ducking Aspinall. Get the f- out of here. You can't tell me that John Jones is ducking Tom Aspinall. Like, no way. I want to see him fight Alex. I want to see him beat Aspinall so yeah. everybody just shuts the f*** up. So then it's going to be the next so f-ing guy. It's going to be the next Aspinall. No. It's an endless cycle. Endless it cycle. is endless, bro. There's always somebody these the f- come up with man we team john jones over here tom aspinall he got 10 <laughs> minutes in the octagon total time he ain't the f- fought nobody
Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! <laughs> <laughs>